It may not look that bad, but this is nasty stuff flowing into the White River. How dirty and dangerous is a sewage overflow? Well, here, see for yourself. Let's get it checked out. Health officials say that sample of water I'm collecting from the river's edge should have no more than 235 colonies of E. coli bacteria. Anything higher means the water is unsafe. A state-certified lab tested the water sample and found it doesn't have 235 colonies of the dangerous bacteria. It has 39,726. Don't go in the water. Don't play in the water. Don't let your kids play in the water. It may be not unlike playing in your own toilet. Local rivers and streams have been hit hard by sewer overflows for a long time. Just ask Leon Bates. We walked up and down Fall Creek from one end to the other. Leon was just a boy playing along Fall Creek when he discovered big pipes dumping raw sewage into the water. Forty years later, those pipes are still doing the same thing. This is not safe, and it's not healthy, and there's no excuse to do it. These combined sewer overflows were simply ignored for decades. But city leaders can't do that anymore. Under a federal agreement, Indianapolis has promised big changes. Far underneath the city, engineers plan to build three massive tunnels. Those tunnels will stretch 17 miles. And during heavy rains, they'll allow the city to store sewage instead of dumping it into rivers. Indianapolis will capture 95 to 97 percent of the overflow volume that was going to the streams and take it to the treatment plant. Dumping less sewage is the good news. The bad news? Well, the massive tunnel and sewer projects will take about 15 years to complete and they'll cost three and a half billion dollars. Of course, you get to pay for it. That means keep a close eye on your water bill because your current sewer rates of about 12 or 15 bucks a month are about to get a lot higher. Sewer bills might be 90 or 100 dollars a month? Yes. That's right. To fix this dirty problem, your sewer rates are going to cost you a hundred dollars every month. It's a huge increase, but these things just dump right into the river. Leon says he can think of at least 39,726 reasons why that increase is necessary. It's not going to be cheap to fix it, but what we have to look at is what's going to be the cost if we don't fix it. Again, this is not just a problem in Indianapolis. From Kokomo to Columbus, this year more than 100 Indiana towns spewed about 40 billion gallons of sewage into Indiana rivers. If you want to see how much raw sewage your town is dumping, go to our website, WTHR.com. I'm Bob Siegel, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.